Hi, welcome to Algebra 2, Lesson 3-7, Transformations of Polynomial Functions. In this lesson, we'll be able to identify sym symmetry and, and um, transform trans po polynomial functions. Yeah, so the lesson vocabulary will be even function and odd function. We have talked about this in the beginning of the topic where we were looking at the differences between um, among the key features of um, polynomial functions. So when even functions, uh, when you have even functions, you know that their end behaviors are going to be in the same, same directions. And then odd function would have different end behaviors. So let's um, further look at these uh, functions here. Let's start with exploring reason. Look at the polynomial graphs below. We have x squared and x cubed graph here. Is a graph of f or g symmetric about the y-axis? Is a graph of f or g symmetric about the origin? Explain. So, yeah, so when we're talking about symmet symmetric, whether or not um, it's symmetric or not, we're looking at are we reflecting it from the y-axis or the x-axis? So we're, we're thinking about reflection. So if it's symmetric about the y-axis, the left side of the y-axis should be the same as the right side. Like if you fold the y-axis, you would have the same overlap. Um, so for the even function, yes, it is symmetric about the y-axis. But um, if you if you say if it's uh, if you ask if it's symmetric about the origin, so how about the origin? What does it mean to be symmetric about the origin? It needs to be identical when rotated 180 degrees about the origin. So if you rotate it this way, it should be the same. Rotate it this way, it should be the same. Rotate it this way, it should be the same, but they're not the same. So it is not the same. Let's look at the odd function here, x cubed. Um, is it symmetric about the y-axis? Well, in order to reflect through the y-axis, you have to have this graph, and that is not the same as, um, as the other. So for G, it is not symmetric. But um, is this symmetric about the origin? No, not, not the same here. But if you, if you rotate it 180 degrees, then you would get the same graph. It would look the same, right? Yeah. So only when it's, um, when it's rotated 180 degrees, it should be symmetric. Otherwise, it looks different like this. And then if you rotate it 280 degrees, um, then it would look, then it would look like this. Yeah, so then it won't look the same. All right, um, let's, write that in sentences so uh, i'm going to type here above again um so f is let's talk about f first f is symmetric about the y-axis because the reflection across the y-axis is identical and G is symmetric about the origin because the graph is identical when rotated 180 degrees about the origin. Okay, good. Let's think about part B. Graph more functions of the form y equals x to the nth power, where n is a natural number. Which of these functions are symmetric about the origin? Which are symmetric about the y-axis? What conjectures can you make? So graph some other um, graphs. So we have x squared, and then x to the fourth power could, could be something like this. 
or it could look like this. It could look very similar to x squared. Um, x to the fourth power, yeah. may actually look like this. It almost looks like, oh, there's no curve. But it could also, it really could look like a W. Yeah, that's the degree four. And then, um, and then you have odd degree. That would go like, that could go like, it could be the same. It looks like it could look the same as the X to the, uh, x cube or you could have like a little bit of wriggle in there but yeah that's when you have a lot of turning points the most turning points you would have would be four yeah this is x to the fifth power and then you would keep doing it but you see the trend where oh for the odd functions the end behaviors are going to be opposite, so it's never going to be symmetric um, about the y-axis, but it, it could be symmetric about the origin. And then the even degrees could be symmetric about the y-axis, but it wouldn't be symmetric about the origin. So you see the pattern with the odd and even functions again here. So let's um, write part b's as well here. Functions that have an even degree are symmetric about the y-axis and functions that have an odd degree are symmetric about the origin. Okay, good. So we figured out the pattern now. Let's think about the lesson essential question. How are symmetry and transformations represented in the graph an equation of a polynomial function? So that's the question we're going to ask throughout the lesson. Let's start with this concept, odd and even functions. So any polynomial function in the form p of x is equal to a sub n, x to the nth power plus a sub n minus one times x to the n minus one power plus dot 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 until you get an a sub zero is an even function if it is a, a symmetric about the y-axis and an odd function if it's symmetric about the origin. It sounds very obvious but it would it would help us if we um, just look at the graph or if we just have an information oh it's symmetric about the uh, origin then we know it's an odd function right so this is this could also be a good information for us to um, use to maybe write in write a function or do polynomial um, polynomial operations or, you know, just problem solving using polynomials. So if you have even function, it will be reflected across the y-axis. Odd function, rotate, it could be um, rotated and have um, symmetric about the origin. And then if it's neither, then really you don't have any symmetric um, symmetry. Yeah. Okay. So Looking at that, let's look at example one. Identify even and odd functions from their graphs. Okay. Um, use the graph to classify the polynomial function. Is it even, odd, or neither? So just by looking at the graph, can you tell if it's even or odd? If you just look at the end behavior, you already know it's an odd function, right? But um, if you look at the uh, symmetry, you can also say, oh, this is not symmetric over the y-axis. But if you, um, if you rotate it 180 degrees, um, it, would be, it would be symmetric. So this is odd. Yeah. Part B, this is, you already know it's even because the end behaviors are headed towards the same uh, direction. But if you look at the symmetry, symmetry, um, you would see that it's symmetric across the y-axis. So this is even. 
and then part C. Um, this is this is symmetric over the y-axis. It looks like it's symmetric over the y-axis, but um, but is it really? No, because if you rotate it, this is an odd function, and this is not equal to that. So if you if you um, have the exactly same function, then it is symmetric over the y-axis. But no, it's not symmetric across the y-axis. It's not symmetric over the origin because if you rotate it, it's because it doesn't go through the origin and you have a winer step here. Um, if you rotate it, you're going to get something uh, that's like this, yeah. So it's it has the same shape, but it's not going to be the same graph. So this is neither. So you have um, you have these three types of examples looking at the graph. Um, other than talking about the end behaviors, we can also talk about their symmetry when we're looking at the graph and seeing if they're odd or even degrees. So let's look at try number one on the bottom of the page. Classify the polynomial functions as even or odd based on the graph. So just by looking at the graph, can you tell if it's even or odd? Pause the video and come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, just by looking at the graph, you know A is going to be odd because it is not symmetric across the y-axis, but if you rotate 180 degrees, it's going to be symmetric. So yes, this is odd. Part B, um, you know the end behaviors are going to the same direction, and this is symmetric across the y-axis, so this is even. Okay, let's continue with the next example in the next video.